It's a sad morning because, you know, English football has lost one of the greats. Um, you know, in, in, in Terry, he certainly was that. Um, he was just, not was he just a brilliant manager, he was a great guy. You know, someone that always had a smile on his face as well. And uh, was a pretty, pretty decent singer as well. I'm not sure I can agree with you on that. We have been playing some of his music <laughs> this morning. Tell, tell, me, tell me what he was like when you were working with him. What sort of guidance and advice did he give to you? Well, you, you knew that he was the best because he would look after you. You know, I remember when he first got the job, he came to me in training and um, he just told me outright, he went, you're my English number one and I want you to know that. And that gave me so much confidence. I know that he did pretty similar stuff with Alan Shearer, you know, because Alan was having a bit of a bad run and he just went to Alan and said, like, you're the number nine, I want you to score goals. And that's what he's, he said with me, you know, I'm, you're my number one. And it gave me great confidence. And um, that's, that's what he used to do. He was a great man management manager um you know even down to to like when when Gaza would be in the hotel and he'd just say to me like David take Gaza fishing he's getting right on my nerves you know so he, he knew exactly what he wanted you know and but he was brilliant at it as well you know for him to to tell you especially before games you know like do it for the country do it for three lions you know when he was shouting that at you it gave you so much motivation yeah I'm sure um what about when Southgate missed that penalty yeah, but that, that shows that shows the character of Terry. You know, Terry went straight to Gareth because he knew what had happened um, and he knew, you know, how Gareth would be feeling. You know, and a lot of the players went to him as well. But Terry was first in there, you know, giving him some words of confidence. And um, that's what Terry was like. He looked after you. And, and that's why he's got so many friends. And that's why so many people want to say, you know, say their bit about him. You know, there's, um, there's a guy that always had a smile on his face. What was that 96 team like? Um, it was really good. We were so close to, to going all the way. Um, you know, and even before the tournament, you know, we were getting quite a lot of stick in the, in the, um, in the media. Um, but Terry got us all together and said, right, come on, let's all get together, let's regroup and we'll show them. You know, and, and the way that he managed England, you know, tactically he was brilliant. You know, and I think it was in the Scotland game where he took Stuart Pearce off, who was, a, you know, obviously a fantastic left back took Piercy off, put Jamie on and changed the game, Jamie Redknapp. And, you know, so he was brilliant at that, but he just, he made he made the England fans love the England team again and that's what he was brilliant at. Is there anyone like him now? Um, you look at people like Pep, you know, the way that he, you know, the, the way that he, he manages in games, that's exactly what Terry was doing. But Terry was doing this like a long, long time ago. You know, he went to Barcelona and did it really well. And he's been all over the world managing. And, um, you know, and, and everyone that you speak to have, have always got a great word, great word to say about him. But, yeah, I think the closest that we've got at the moment is Pep. You know, so it just shows you how good he was. Um, let's talk about the Arsenal. What do you think? We're doing OK. We're, um, it was a good result yesterday. Um, it was a hard game. You know, people say, yeah, but you did play very well. I was like, well, it's really hard to play well at Brentford. Um, and, I'm, you know, Mikhail said that after the game, you know, he says that they don't let you play well, but it's about getting results. And that's exactly what we did, you know. And obviously Aaron played in the game and he was a little bit nervy in the first half, but um, showed his true character and, and made sure that he played really well in the second half, which he did.